Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we're at Longhorn Cavern right here in the Lone Star State. We're about to go on an adventure so let's roll the intro and get right to it. Okay, so there's a little bit of a controversy here in Texas. To mask or not to mask? I have both a paper and a cloth mask with me. Online it did say we were required to wear them. On the door it says we're required to wear them. So we're prepared, but we're gonna find out if we actually have to wear them or not. So it looks like on property they have an observation tower right here and the cavern itself is right here. So we're waiting on our tour time, which is at 10. And then afterwards, maybe we'll explore a little bit more of this. Okay, we've gone in, we've secured our tickets for our tour. Our tour starts in about 30 minutes. So now we're gonna go off and explore a little bit. There are several hiking trails that leave out from here. And there's this really interesting building that we're about to check out. It's the first building that you actually encounter once you come onto the property. And we passed it, we're kind of wondering what was going on, but um, didn't have an opportunity to stop. So as you can see here, it's the Texas Historical Commission seal. And this tells a little bit more about the original building right here. So this first structure that we're coming into is so epic. This used to be the admin building and the core always seems to surprise me whenever they create things because they use stone in such a unique way. The walls here are amazing. The floor here is amazing. It's just so cool to see all of the little details that they put into all of their projects. And it just continues as you walk through each and every part of the building. Over here, and over here, we also have a couple of different rooms that we're gonna check out because they have some signage. We're gonna learn a little bit more about the building and its history that started all the way back in the 30s. It says here that by the 30s, the depression had affected one in every two households. Wow. Can you imagine one in every two households were completely affected? That sounds kind of like the state of our world right now. Look at this though. These photos are so interesting because it says here that the Corps provided jobs to a lot of people who otherwise didn't have jobs during this time. And that's whenever they started building all these amazing structures. Here it tells a little bit more about the Texas camps. And these camps actually were considered to be conditioning camps where people would then be assigned to full-time service within other areas. So each one of these is like a group that would go through and be trained. That is awesome. And then it just continues on to say that most of the men in these groups were between the ages of 17 and 25. This talks all about some of the uh, less than usual things that the Corps would take on right here in Texas. And that includes everything from a place like this location, which is a cavern, all the way to reconstructing some of the original Texas historic forts. They have a deep and rich legacy here in Texas to say the least, and many of our state parks have hints of them and their handiwork. So already so much history, and we haven't even made it to the cavern yet, but it's just so cool to come in and look at all of this unique work and know that people were here doing something epic and it was giving jobs to people and that was awesome. So that's a really cool aspect of this park already. But we're not finished. There is an upstairs, so let's go upstairs and see what is up there also. Made it up the first flight right here and discovered a whole nother flight of stairs. So we're gonna have to check that one out too. But first, wow, very different structure in here. This one has these logs that have been 
put in and then cemented between. This is a beautiful area to look over. And if there was a rocking chair up here, you would never get me to move. this other set here we go this is going to be our last overlook area and it is so high up here and wow this is something I was not expecting very cool this has easily got to be one of the coolest things I have ever seen on a rooftop I've never seen one of these giant compasses in stone at any of the other core buildings so this has to be a unique one right Okay, this probably is not gonna pick up on my phone or on my camera, but there's a little nail that is in the center of this circle. It's, it's right here. And if you stand in the middle and you talk, it sounds like you are in stereo. So right now, I feel very stereo. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Hello, hello. Okay, they just called the five minute warning on the cave tour, so we have to get there. Cavern, not cave. This is gonna be a weird day for me. I'm used to going to caves. So, we're on our way back to the visitor center where the tour leaves out, and from there, we will start the awesomeness. Uh, welcome to Longhorn Cavern State Park. My name is Kai. I will be your tour guide today. Um, this is a very unique cavern system. Uh, only one like it in Texas. Uh, we are a river form geology and only one, only one like it in the United States with over centuries of tales to tell about just a particular case, okay? Now, by no means is our entire tour going to be on this video. Tours are about an hour and a half and go for about a mile. So make sure that you reserve your time ahead of time to ensure that you will be able to take the tour. Also, wear closed-toed shoes with a decent grip. There are a few stairs at the beginning and at the end as you return, and you want to make sure that you feel comfortable in each step. There are also some lower areas, so make sure that you're able to bend over just a little bit to get through these tight spaces. But without further ado, let's just move inside. This is a cavern like no other I have ever experienced, and I think you're going to enjoy it. Um, your toothpaste. Uh, if you do have heart, heartburn today, don't look at our walls. It doesn't mm -hmm. grow through here. Now it takes about a hundred years for an inch to grow on a stalactite. Uh, put my my sign on so you can see some water that's actually dripping down from it. Mm -hmm. That's usually uh, condensation because we're so close to the entrance. Okay. Although I do want to let the cavern speak for itself, this area in particular, no amount of video could do justice. This is the Crystal City, and as you walk through this area, it is like you are surrounded by a giant geode. Each of these rocks is glistening and glittering, but because of the lower light, it's visible mostly by the eye. It doesn't stick, it just keeps flowing off. Okay, yes, they stole some of our stalactites off there and broke them off. This is called a flow stone. It's one of the larger flow stones in the cave. Uh, flow stones are different because the calcium uh, uh, flows down it as opposed to dripping. We'll probably find some more that will be a little bit closer. I'm going to go and look into the uh, darker reaches of the cavern. So just around the corner, you'll see church that's in its natural form. Here too, when we opened up, okay? This little cave right here was full opening. That is that right there. 
CCC cemented it up mm. uh, after we cleared out back to the sinkhole. That was in 1934. Uh, dance floor that went all the way around there doing oh, some wow. tables they lowered food down through that little uh, sinkhole on the other side and they had live music this is the Harris Brothers Texans band that's a is a real picture from the opening day of 1932 this is a song of theirs called the gut bucket shuffle for 1929s and I'm pretty sure they played here <laughs> As we move through these tunnels, we are reminded time and time again of just how cramped some of the quarters were when they first discovered this cavern. And several of the different formations as well as the tunnels are pointed out along the tour. This cavern has actually three different levels to it. The basement, the regular first floor, and the attic. And right now we're on what's considered to be the ground floor or the first floor. And as you can see here, some of those passages are not that tall. So can you imagine having to work countless hours to mine things out of this just to make a way through? Oh my goodness, this passage alone made my back hurt. So I can only imagine working eight to 10 hours a day slumped over. It would have been terrible. The dirt itself, dirt line is covered up like that all the way down, and even on this side. That's how much dirt they had to clean out when they came in. stalactites. From the stalactite drip, they make the stalagmites. When they form together, it's called a column. I showed you all a small one of those. Uh, the flowstones, you all remember. I've uh, shown you one outside the powder room and the queen's throne. And then we have a drapery. Drapery is right around the corner and is awesome. It's one of my favorite things in here as well. This room reminded me of what I think of when I think of being inside of a sand dune. It was the most insane experience and I've never seen anything like it. And then there were a few formations as well, but such a neat room. Put that perspiration on the walls and kind of ate away. Through passageways like this, you had little glimpses of what would be considered the attic. And as we continued to pass through, there would be small holes which would jut downward. Those were the basement. And each one of them were pointed out. It was really cool. Okay. And so uh, you need that carbon dioxide to keep everything separated out in the water. It's kind of light up. You can see some pinks and stuff like that. Uh, one of my favorites is farther down. This room is the Hall of Diamonds, and much like the Crystal City, it is so much more beautiful in person, guys. Just like always, they ask you to exit through the gift shop. So we definitely did, and we found some really awesome finds. I hope you've enjoyed Longhorn Cavern today, and if you did, make sure that you leave a like on this video, subscribe, and ring the bell for future content. Until next time, guys. Bye!